what is concentration? Why is it so important? One of the most important things to understand, I think, first and foremost, is what, you know, why do we need it? And back in 1912, there was a, a Nobel Peace Prize winner by the name of Alexis Carrel, who won his Nobel in medicine. And one of the statements that he made was is that soil is the basis of all human life and our only hope for a healthy world. We're either gonna be healthy or unhealthy according to the fertility of the soil. Now, think about what's taken place over the last 107 years. We've industrialized, we've commercialized, we've pasteurized, we sanitize, we basically process everything we eat and drink today. There was another doctor I wanna mention that I think is important too, is Dr. Uh, Charles Northern. Uh, this guy was a, a gastroenterologist and he wanted to get to the root issue of why his patients were, were sick. And through his information and investigation, he estimated that 99% of the American population back in 1936 were deficient in these trace minerals due to agricultural farming technique. He went on to state that no matter how delicate that deficiency is within our bodies, it will sicken, suffer, and shorten our life. Now, if that information is true, that our health is based on, you know, we're only as healthy as our soil is fertile, then the question we have to ask is, what about our soil? If we were that deficient 83 years ago because of our soil, where are we at today? And this is why we wanted to bring this information from a, from a demonstration standpoint, giving you something to see. So... The very definition of death is not when our heart stops beating. It's when all the electrical impulse in our brain stop. Well, this is just an open current. And we're gonna close that circuit by alfalfa, a plant that the grandmaster of all plants because of its root system, it can grow anywhere from 25 to 75 feet into the Earth's surface, therefore utilizing soil that hasn't been touched by man. And yet at the same time, if you really stop to think about it, by the looks of our teeth, we were designed to pick it, pluck it, dig it, fish it, and kill it, and drink lots of water. So I brought my water today, and I also brought some of those fruits and vegetables that we talked about. So I'm gonna put a positive negative charge into a banana. I get an electrical response. How about a tomato? How about a potato? Now I know that you're all looking at this and you know what these fruits are, but I, how about an orange? And by the way, that is, that's an organic orange. How about an organic pepper? Now to me, the question is, I understand it's organic. It's the cleanest food available. No pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, or fungicides, but from a soil standpoint, we have a long ways to go. How about the apple a day that kept the doctor away? We've heard it our whole lives. It's not what the apple tastes like, it's what the apple once offered. And to me, that is absolutely applicable to what concentrate trace mineral drops are. That's the full spectrum ionic trace mineral product that's just like eating a raw, balanced diet, but we have control and consistency with it every single day. So with that same conductivity as we see in a plant, that's a live plant. This is a live fruit. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna put in one drop of the liquid concentrates. Now with that one drop, you can see that consistency. You see the inconsistencies here. You see that fluctuation because again, we don't know where this food's coming from, where it's grown, but we do know where these trace minerals are coming from. And at the same time, I believe that we can bring consistency back to our diets. It's that simple. And yet how truly how simple it is, is that I can just open up a water bottle. I can put in now again, it's taste preference, but I can put in 10 drops of those liquid minerals that's just like eating that raw balanced diet. Shake it up and, you know, we have our minerals for the day. And yet, again, going back to the trace minerals, if these minerals are no longer in our soil, they're not in our food. If they're not in our food, they're not in our body. If they're not in our body, we call that deficiency. 
If we don't resolve that deficiency, we call that dysfunction or dis-ease. And in our society today, if you really stop to think about it, and you think about how these individuals are feeding themselves, think about this. We overcook it, nuke it, eat it out of a can, a box, a pickup window, concession stand, a vending machine. I had to add one more just recently that I was educated on. Uber Eats. You don't even have to get out of your slippers in the morning. You can bring your favorite food right you know, to your front door. It's called convenience, and convenience is basically killing us today. But I would say to you that adding these trace minerals to your diet is so convenient. It's simple, it's easy, cost effective. Remember, there's no additives, no preservatives, no sweeteners. And if you're not, and of course on the, the label, we suggest to take it and dilute it. So by putting 10 drops into your water bottle, you know, you should never taste it. Yet we knew that to be able to help those consumers with sensitive taste buds, we offered the concentrates in a tablet format, we offered in a gummy, and yet at the same time, it all comes to, down to taste preference. Whether we're dealing with our children or our grandparents and everybody in between, it should come down to being able to mask the same concept again, the apple a day that kept the doctor away not what the apple tastes like, because for most people that eat apples, they take a bite, they love the taste. That's why we, that's why we eat them. We don't take a bite and go, oh, that is so disgusting, but I know it's healthy for me, so I'm gonna keep eating. But in this case, by adding these minerals, whether it be in a gummy, a tablet, or a liquid, you should be able to take the same approach with that of nature, should be taste preference. So electrolytes, what are they and why should we take them? You know, the very definition of electrolyte is a, you know, by technical definition is a substance that disassociates into ions, either fused or in solution. Kind of in a simple term, it's when your mineral, you know, your electrolytes are these minerals, we have to separate them out so the body can identify them, so the body can utilize them. Yet oftentimes what we hear as a society is, you know, muscle cramps, twitches, spasms. Sometimes we get that little twitch. I think it's a wonderful indicator that our bodies are giving us to let us know that we need to hydrate. But remember this, if we stop to think about it, we were not designed to live on bottled, filtered, distilled RO water. We were designed to live on groundwater, spring water, creek water, river water. All those minerals are still there. Those electrolytes are in that. So if we're reaching for these different filtered, distilled waters, we have to put those electrolytes back in. And yet at the same time, trace minerals been a pioneer in electrolytes since 1972. So this is one of those categories that we're very well versed in and we have availability and ways to reach to the general public that again, some like sugary drinks and some like, you know, no taste at all. And yet what we've done at Trace Minerals is that we offer it in a tablet and we can put so much more into a tablet. Oftentimes, our, whether we're a world-class athlete or a professional couch potato, these are very simple. You can take them a dose size of six tablets, and we can space that, up, you know, space that apart. I think that sometimes as athletes or just general consumers, we take all of our electrolytes in one setting. But remember, think about this. We lose two, to, two and a half to three cups of body fluid a day just by breathing. So through respiration, perspiration, urination, defecation, of course, in women, menstruation, there's a constant steady pull on these electrolytes every single day. So I would ask the question, do we stop breathing after breakfast? No. Most of us, of course, go to the gym before breakfast. So it's important that we space these supplements out throughout the entire day. So what Trace Minerals done, whether it be in a, a powdered effervescent that comes in a, just a little packet, they're very convenient. We can put them in our gym bags, we can put them in our purses, we can put them in diaper bags, briefcases, suitcases. I mean, we can carry them everywhere we want. So from an electrolyte standpoint, we not only have that full, you know, full balance of electrolytes, and remember, 
calcium, potassium, magnesium, sodium, and chloride are your major electrolytes, plus you have that full spectrum of the trace electrolytes all in one packet. We have the power packs, we have the trace mineral tablets. I also wanted to share real quickly, we have some tablet effervescence. Come in a little cylinder, we have a, what's called max hydrate endurance and a max hydrate immunity. The endurance is just your basic electrolytes, whereas with the max hydrate immunity has added vitamin C. But I want to show real quickly how easy and simple it is because it, again, it comes down to convenience. As you're walking out uh, the door in the morning, you can take one little tablet effervescent. You can, of course, throw these into your gym bags, keep them in your car, put them in a purse, but you can go ahead and just take that, drop it into your water bottle, drop it in, shake it up, and by the time you get ready to get to the gym, it's ready to go. So convenience. Again, dealing with those electrolytes. You don't have to be an athlete to benefit from them. With children, I love these power packs into our mother's hands, nurturer's hands. You can split them, you can quarter them, you can put you know, a quarter of the, the powder in or half a pack. But again, with our children being so active, especially during the summertime, I think personally, power pack should be a year round product or electrolyte should be a year round product. Because remember, just because it gets cold doesn't mean that we stop drinking water and quit breathing. These are, it's important that we use these year round. So again, from a convenience standpoint, we give you as many options as we can so that your consumer can choose for themselves. These, by the way, these power packs come in 13 different flavors. One of the things that I wanted to share, we get a lot of questions on as well. How about the keto diet? You know, we're staying away from our carbs. We're controlling all the different, you know, sugars. And remember this electrolyte stamina tablet. There is no sugar. When we, when we cut out our fruits and vegetables, we have to put those electrolytes back in. We have to put those minerals back in. Great way to uh, help with one issue that we hear a lot about right now is the keto flu, which of course the keto flu has a the very similar characteristic of dehydration or flu-like symptoms. This is a great product that we can help support, bring that balance back and keep them protected throughout their diets and their exercise programs and their everyday uh, use in the office. So one of the questions that we get asked a lot is oftentimes about pH uh, balancing. And of course, it's right there on the front of your label. Uh, powerful, all natural pH balance, you know, balancing trace minerals. Well, pH, if we, pH stands for potential of hydrogen. But to simplify it, let's think about it from this perspective. We can live two to three weeks without food, two to three days without water, two to three minutes without oxygen. So the most important element of our existence is the element of oxygen. Yet, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this water, and we're gonna test this water. We took it from the tap. I'm gonna put what's called phenol red, which is the acid that tests for pH balance, and I'm gonna go ahead and put in four drops. And what you're gonna notice is a color code on the side. The more acidic we are, it'll turn yellow. The more alkaline it becomes, it'll turn pink. And to put this in perspective, seven is neutral. So let's talk about acidic. The more acidic we become, the more oxygen deprived you become. And when you think about a lot of the health challenges we, we face today as a society, those, you know, those health issues thrive in oxygen deprived environments. And yet the more alkaline we become, the more oxygen enriched we become, and that's the alkalization we're looking for. I'd like to go ahead and put in just one drop, trace minerals, and what you're gonna notice is that we went from a neutral pH to an alkaline pH, and you can see that in that color code. So we just increased that alkalinity of that solution. What I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and take one drop. In fact, I'll go ahead and put in just three drops of 
a beverage that if you stop and think about this, you know how many cups of water it takes just to neutralize one 20 ounce soda pop in our bodies? 32 cups. If you stop to think about it, most pop drinkers don't drink 32 cups of water in a month, but they drink you know, five or six of these a day and then they wonder why their body responds the way it does. So by what I believe that we're capable of doing with these minerals is stopping the robbing process from within, putting that balance not only from a mineral standpoint, but also from an oxygen standpoint because it helps alkalize that body balance. The most acidic liquid in the human body is found within your gut, which of course is a, has a pH of 1.2 to 3. The most alkaline solution in the body is found in your gallbladder. That bile has a pH of 7.65 to 8.65. Yet your blood has to maintain almost perfection, and that is 7.35 to 7.45. So if we're not putting these minerals back in, think about this, if our output of these minerals are greater than our input, our bodies have to rob the cells, the tissues, the organs, and eventually the bone just to maintain the homeostasis of the blood. So by putting these minerals back in on a daily basis, it helps keep that proper balance throughout the entire system. And that's why we take our, our trace minerals every single day.